The thing is, Christina, though, this knife, unless there's a bunch of them, I'm going to be using it because... Oh, this can't be... What do you mean? Also, what key did I get? Second floor residential area key, which I think was through here. No, no. Nothing going on here. Ooh. Who these people were? I don't know, but they really like putting their axes into drawers and cabinets. Yes, lots of antiques. All right, let's enjoy the paintings like I always do. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. I guess Cupid? You stand out. I wonder if you are Christina. Soldier boy. Crank that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to fight. Hello. Oh, that is an ugly baby. Wait. Sheep? Jack? Is that you? I understand now. That's why your life, life's so rough. God, but you sold the sheep that you grew up with? Jack, you made some poor life decisions. In the top drawer. See, that's... Hey, baby. How's it going? Okay. It's actually kind of cool. That would be awkward to get out. I always had to get off the foot of the bed, but it, I, I like the whole, like, you got a little kind of light ball locking you in the door. Unless, of course, there's a fire. So there's no... Oh, so there's stealth kills. Okay. So this is less spooky. Well, actually, it was spooky and suspenseful at the beginning, but now I feel like we're going to turn into just a combat. Well, let's go. Is it because you're like a big boy that you're like super strong? Is that why? Also, do I have a health bar? I just took a few swings from that guy. They not believe in sheets. Also, that is a huge fire hazard. So I don't. Did I just die? Okay. Well, the thing is, what you don't realize. Okay, so that's like a foreshadowing to, hey, there's a dog that's going to attack you. I don't know what he was doing with that, but uh, let me just say I love it. Wait, loading last save doesn't can save materials. I
Okay, so pin pad. It's making an ammo sign. Is that the only cursor? No, but there's like the hand. Why didn't he go with the hand? Oh well. Mm, this is some grainy wood. But don't. Oh my god. She doesn't have any feet. Okay. I'm just gonna assume you're Christina. Also, I know these toilets aren't as effective as the modern toilet, but gosh darn do I love the aesthetic of that. Nothing. There's more maelstroms. Okay, so that's my health under my thing. Okay. Um, the secret garden. Oh, smart. Ah, ha, ha. Of course you'd have the smart. Ah, gotcha. You son of a gun. You thought you could sneak up on me. What are you reading in here? Dante's Divine Com Comedy? Hm. Lame. God damn, everyone's a drinker in this house. Okay, so basically it's a cult that uses drugs. Which is essentially just a cult. Okay. Charlie Chaplin? No. I thought they had good tastes for a second. Okay, there's something going on back there. Oh, you know, they even give you the little hint of the damaged floor next to it. The classic crime drama. Oh, X, I forgot I could crawl in this game. I don't know if anyone's ever crawled gripping a firearm like this. Not the easiest thing. Very hard on the elbows, especially if you don't have elbow pads. But this guy, taking it like a champ. Isn't that the fucking code from the swine? I could be wrong. I'm going to have to watch it again, but I'm pretty sure. You know, I don't care if it was a code from the swine. Let's fucking go, baby. 4735. Now I can go back and. Four seven three five four seven three five four seven three five. If not, I can always just look at the swine uh, playthrough to reference it again. Oh my god. This is really long. Vincent, you did me dirty. You did me dirty. Should have cut that crawl sequence in like half, my man. Or at least thrown something in there for me to fight, because, oh. See if there's new enemy spawns. I do like how, like, it feels like I'm turning with the gun. I mean, that's not how I would actually turn the firearm, because that would offset my sights. But I, I like the general feel. It feels natural. It's not the correct way to do it, but it's it feels nice. It's 
So maybe aperture sights next time. Makes it a little bit easier for me to... Fuck. 4735. Hell yeah, I'm approved. It's such an out of place sound, but Vincent, you chose properly there. Okay, so she's getting cleaned, I guess, by her handmaids. Okay, so people started going crazy with the death bloom. That's when things started going awry. Okay. This observatory, I think, is going to be this way. be this generous. Where are you? I'm right here. What do you mean? Also, Christina, you didn't have to kill this many people to uh, give me all these supplies. But I appreciate it. That's cool. Also, Vincent, taking the time to do aim down sights, I didn't say it before, but good on you. Good on you. Uh-oh. Want to be high on death bloom? This is not where I ran away. Did I heal? I did not heal. Okay, so I can't get out that way. Can't get out that way. Oh, there's a note. Uh, That's why you need directional audio. Oh, you're gonna do me like that? All right. Oh wait, it said with all the lights are off. All right, let's go. The game break. Oh. I'm just blind. Oh, or not. Or that happens. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I really feel the passion in this piece. Interesting. Now that one derivative <laughs> sure why not oh. oh oh okay um I guess I just walk back now 
do, 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 do. Like the second you get a shotgun in games, you go from you know what I mean? Because there is no fear left in my heart. Just carnage. Wait, what? So blow as above. That picture again. Wait, are these just No, they're not mirrored. Like the opposite sides, that's kind of cool. Ish. Or is this like what it used to look like? Actually, they're just completely different areas. Never mind. They're just both coastal. I heard there was a woman that walks around with a knife covered in blood. Holy fuck. <sighs> Whether she was just supposed to go through me or I was supposed to kill her. I don't know. But that got me. <laughs> that got me good. Yeah, let's blow him up. Oh! I swear, if I don't have to be shooting this girl, I'm going to be annoyed. You know what? So we're not wasting the good stuff. So I guess it's going to go up. So after Jack became a sharecropper, the person that owned the actual property gave him poor portions, and Jack just kept oozing and oozing his money away, just dripping from him. And then next thing you know, he had turned to death bloom. And that's how Jack found his way to uh, this estate. Okay, bad trip. Hell yeah, brother, that was a bad trip. All right, so basically it forcibly made me take some death bloom. Oh, this frame. Okay, so I've been wasting my shotgun ammo. That, that, that's what I'm getting from this. I should have warned you that there's, a, there's something strange about this room. Made sure the door was closed so nobody found you stumbling around the room. You were sprayed with an extraction of the plant. Congregation death bloom. This is visions of the world after death. With each dosage, we get a little closer to heaven, so... It can be some lasting effects, seeing things that aren't there, strange noises, it's all from the two worlds getting a little closer. It happens to all of us, though some more than others. The small cases for the residential one that you missed in the residential area on the table, it's not much, but it's all I could find. I put something that might be useful here in the other cabinet, it's pretty old, but it's better than nothing. <coughs> Now I can get some range kills, brother. Find two seals to open the restricted area. I guess I should just go this way again. Damn. Damn, I'm a good shot. Hey, how's it going, puppers? Oh, Actually, I do feel bad. I'm sorry. You're not bad. Gucci, gucci, goo. It's their fucking owners. And I'm gonna kill every last single one of them. Like, whoever did this. Christina, I bet it was you. And I, I like that you're willing to go the extra mile for that. And I imagine this is like mini games where I can only recollect my arrows if I kill someone, so... I won't be able to get a... So I assume it's the tip of the arrow. <gasps> Holy fuck, you're a strong boy. Alright, uh, sir, sir, let me just ask you. 
Have you accepted our Lord Jesus Christ? He's quite kissable. Holy fuck, man. You are... Well, actually, to be honest, I'm not hitting you in the brain. Oh, I'm out. Alright, well, I'm... Uh, you know what? I bet you'll die in one. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You could probably survive those. They weren't like death hits. The fuck's the point of this goddamn thing if I guess just infinite ammo or ammo I can retrieve? Okay. Damn, bro. You got some bad knees. I understand you used to adventure. It's okay. You all don't need to laugh. It was too good of a joke for any of you. Alright. Oh, fuck! <laughs> you got me good. What can I say? Was not expecting. Not expecting. Alright. Well, uh, not too. Oh. Not too much progress locked. All right, cabinet key. God damn, I'm good at that shot. I'm sorry, bud. That other knee too. We got, well, actually, that was more thigh. I would have killed you, not immediately, but with your diameter and your uh, thigh definitely got artery. And get the ammo that's here. I wonder if I can heal in this game. All right, so. There's a guy. Oh fuck, I ran out of sprint. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, you don't want to fight? What the? Does he, is he is he locked in this area? Is that what's going on? Yeah, he's locked in this area. Okay, they got these trash goddamn, like, TVs and all that, but they got one of these water coolers, or uh, heaters. That doesn't make sense. We're protecting them. <laughs> oh. I do remember a cabinet being locked. I just don't remember where that cabinet is. So let's get meticulous about it then. Is it in here? Oh my god. Almost anything. Now I go melt that thingy booboober, which is over here. Oh my god. 
Also, is nitric acid really that strong? I, mean, uh, I don't know acid, so I wouldn't be able to say for sure. But I don't think nitric's the highest, or is it? Sulfuric's more aggressive, or hydrofluoric. Ah, it's thermite. That looks good. They just mislabeled it as nitric acid. Oh, did I see something to pick up there? No. Good, just my eyes. But oh. oh, holy shit! First aid kits do next to nothing for you. Okay. Where the office is. Is this actually gold? I don't know. It's either that or it's a bad dragon silicone uh, gold uh, colored uh, utensil. That's a nice globe as well. Oh! <laughs> I almost missed you. I open you as well. I can. Nothing there. Open you. No, I cannot. All right. Locked from the other side. Okay, you're surprised that these are gold. Okay, it's a coffee grinder. I wasn't leaving, but thank you. It's unlocked. Where did this lead to? This that's leading into there. Fairy tales. Also, so, oh, hold on a second. Did it make its appearance again? Crime. All right, there, bud. Okay. Smart though, reusing assets. I'm not gonna blame you for that. From different games. Using the same pictures throughout the house. That I can't forgive. Unless it was a baller ass picture. Okay, I heard it's a picture type. I want to keep some shit being hidden in the years library. He mentioned paying a contractor to build a lever or something simple. But I'm super bad. I said it was always been terrible though, so I can't imagine he hit it too well. Why is there even. Uh, okay. Then the family. That's a good question, but he's also the cult leader, so there are secrets for his benefit. Okay. If I had eyes and terrible eyesight. I was going to hide a lever. Where would I leave it? If I had to put my money on anything. Well, negligent discharge happens all the time with bows and arrows, you know what I mean? Got it. God, I'm good. Easy. Didn't even need to try. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And it is what it is. I wanted to read the documents first. Are they watching the whole house? Well, it makes sense. It seems like they're running like an experiment on everything. Ah! Ah! So, yeah, I can match you. Don't think you're the only one that can uh, make noises like that. That sounded like you were locking it. 
but let's see if you were unlocking it. Okay. Okay. Well, you can have my head after I take yours. Don't mind, you just have to win uh, against me in a bout of combat, which you'll probably do a couple of times, and then I'll finally win. Because unlike you, I have infinite lives. Albeit, if I don't recover supplies, I guess technically you could win to the point where I don't want to take the time to learn entire attack pattern for me to kill you with just a knife. So, I mean, it is theoretical you could kill me. Unlikely, but possible. Interesting. Okay, there's the death room thing again. Wait, if this is the restricted area, why is it where they hold congregation? Wouldn't this be open? Uh, okay, they say the world... As they say, the seas were parted in two to allow the passage to freedom. They say three wise men gave gifts to the savior of man. They say there is only one true God, but they are misguided. The Lord is here and lives with us under our feet and in our blood. So, like, the Earth Mother? Is that what you're getting at? Because, like, nature? Okay, so I can't do anything else with the table. Oh. Did I miss you guys? Maybe I miss you guys. I am blind sometimes. You guys ain't looking too hot, by the way. Four, seven, three, five. Three, five, seven, four. Hmm. Oh. Seven, two, three, one. Seven, two, three, one. If you were here before, why did I have to get these seals? Or did you just walk by me while I was uh, reading that note? Feed the Lord. L oh, feed the loud machine. Okay, that makes more sense because I was reading Lord Machine. I'm like, I'm not reading that right. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's -a go. Okay, it's clear up there. Clear. Yeah. I'm saying a letter here, I imagine. I use crawl spaces to get around the house, so no stumbling around in the dark looking for keys. For me, I think you're too big to fit, so I have to keep moving through the house the traditional way. There's a door to your right that leads to a storage room. After that, there's a long hallway in the upper area of the manor. I've left you a gift that should explain more. You can hear Samuel through the walls. You need to either kill him or avoid him long enough for me to open the gate. Be careful. Well, oh, fuck. Me and Samuel are going to have a, a fight to the death because it's all, I also forgot the directions. Can I go back? I cannot. Alright, I think she said go in here. Okay, so he's got a chainsaw. Can most likely one shot me.
is this? My family came here eight years ago. My father learned of the Bachman Manor through an invitation to the therapy group found online that promised to help with some issues he had developed after losing his job. They invited my mother, my brother Marcus, and I to join him in the therapy retreat. We moved into the house for what we thought would only be two weeks. As soon as we got here, everyone was incredibly nice to us. We got our own room in the residential area while my father began treatment with the rest of the residents. A mixture of medication and herbal medicine called Death Bloom, the drug you were sprayed with in the observatory. It was a wellness clinic ran by a name named Augustine Bachman. He told my father that calming his mind and observing hallucinogenic visions from the medicine was the key to understanding his mental ailments. He was told his condition in particular would require more, more time and that he, for us to be patient and agree to extend a stay. We decided to take Augustine's advice on my father's treatment and stay longer. Besides, the house was so beautiful and the other residents were so supportive. We were told that only he could understand his problems and he would have the power to control them. To a certain degree understandable, it sounds like this is a classic like 1950s level, 19, like maybe even 1920s level uh, treatment. Thank you for the shells. We would have lunch in the garden with other residents. The woman in the next room to ours started making me clothes. Everyone had a job to keep the house functional without interference from the outside world. Marcus started attending homeschool. They provided everything necessary for the children of the house as well. After a couple of months, my father started to see improvements. I began imagining the, uh, that our stay here would be uncomfortable, but would unfortunately be over soon. Uncomfortable, Jesus Christ. Late one night, Augustine came to our room with a couple of other residents. He thanked us for trusting him and staying longer and began talking about how the house was more than just a clinic. It was a vessel of God. On a path to enlightenment. Told us death bloom wasn't just a medicine, but a divine gift. Visions were not just hallucinations to aid the sick, they were visions of life after death. Said that there were more residents than we thought, and that our family of a hundred just if there was a hunt Jesus, there was a family of a hundred discovering the meaning behind the existence in the parts of the house that were off limits. We were asked to stay with my mother, Marcus, and I began treating as well. Though now it would be called Ascension and can be administered in the residential area with the residents that lived in the upper parts of the house. With the residents that are um, completed that completed treatment in the clinic and agreed to stay, part of his congregation. Okay. I like your little drawings, Christina. They're nice. Wait, did I grab? Okay, so shotgun shells are here. I think pistol was before. This is more pistol. Do I? So I still got to go on. My mother started arguing with my father shortly after they left. She wanted to leave and take me and Marcus that night. He confessed to us that the treatment at Bachman Manor was more expensive than he thought it would be, and that he had accepted the jog from Augustine. He couldn't leave until he paid off his debt. He didn't want to risk any legal actions against his family. Next morning, we went for a walk in the garden while my father was away to pick up building supplies at his, his new occupation. We walked the fence around the main path of the house and she noticed the gate had been locked from the other side of the wall. It was then she decided that we would have to leave that night. It told me to find Marcus and tell him to pack his bags immediately with or without our father. We packed our bags and hid under our beds until it was time to go, waiting patiently in our room. We waited all night until around 7 a.m. Augustine came into our room and told us one of the residents informed him that they saw her climb over the fence and leave the grounds the previous night. Couldn't believe that she would leave without us. He assured us it was true and there was to not lose face in our father in the congregation. My father returned a week later, and became sick with the stress of this news. Benjamin of our mother and his new occupation involved leaving us for long periods of time was hard on him. We were moved to the upper part of the house and began ascension with others, though he seemed quite oh, apprehensed, quietly apprehensed. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to look it up. While my father was away, Augustine cared for me and Marcus, like we were his. He took us to Ascension every morning, and I saw visions of paradise and fields of flowers that go on for eternity. We celebrated four years in house in the music room. Four years in house in the music room. I felt belonging and purpose that I hadn't felt anywhere else. Then my father said it was time to go. Some building supplies he picked up had been 
head tipped over in the truck during transportation back to the house. He had one of the crates to check for, for damage and discovered a stockpile of rifles. He had, he said he had confronted Augustine about it and was told that they were for self-defense purposes only, explaining the siege that happened in Waco, Texas a few years earlier. My father demanded that we were leaving and forced us to pack. While he was in the bedroom, I left Augustine's, uh, I left for Augustine's office and told him that my father was planning to go do about how he was going to take us away. He calmed me down and said to wait while he would go convince my father to stay with a few other residents. Much like the night my mother ran away, I waited for hours before he finally returned. When Augustine opened the door, he dismissed the others and stayed with me and said he wanted to speak alone. He told me that my father took Marcus and fled into the basement where he heard them approaching. The others stayed upstairs while he investigated and a lack of maintenance made the basement forbidden to enter for anyone. Followed the flow of water where the broken pipe and discovered their bodies. My father shot Marcus before shooting himself with a stolen pistol. Oh, like that. I was just demonstrating. On that day, Augustine Bachman became my father and his congregation my family. The tragedy of losing my parents and brother will always pay me, but I am forever grateful to the South Indus residents. And death bloomed the flower of death and paradise for showing me my purpose. I'm grateful for bringing you here to join me, Christina. All right, Christina, let's get it. Let's have at it. I fought a lot of people in my day. You're not going to be the first one. All right. See that bobbing, Christina? You're not going to be able to hit me. No way, no how. You're going down, girl. Down. Also. Upon entering his extreme poverty, Jack was picked up by a nice man named Augustine, who's taken to a sanctuary where he lived the rest of his life. All right. Okay. I'll keep pushing forward. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I actually didn't need that. All right. Do you honestly think I was going to be... I have guns. What? You have a knife. I ain't going to be afraid of that. Like, who do you think you are? You think because you're a little kid, I'm afraid of you? Think again, kid. All right. You just ate... I, I mean... Still a lot. 22. I think I fed you like seven times. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. So, stay down. Though it's 22, so you may still be up. <laughs> oh. Hey there, kitty. Hey, kid. Hey. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you honestly look like you're in the best shape at all. Everyone else got like bloody ass eyes. Oh. Oh, I'm getting nine mil? Oh, you guys better be watching out. Forget this 22 BS. <sighs> hey, how's it going, bud? I bet you guys didn't know I haven't been using my pistol this entire time. Hopefully picking up that 9mm doesn't affect my ability to have it.
Damn. Cold. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any new... Ooh, actually, I don't... Dog, that's cool. That face. Love it. Oh, what the... What the fuck just happened there? What the fuck? Holy shit. What the fuck was that? Oh. I like that as well. That's a nice one. Dog, you need more surprise. You give me that long of a straightaway, you just gonna get clapped. I like that. That's a nice uh, reference to Resident Evil. Dope. Dope. Okay, so if I find a gramophone, put it there. I haven't found uh, anything that will play a VHS yet, though. So why does everyone use VHSs in horror games? Is it because of the ring? Everyone's like, the tape, it's caused. And then everyone's just been doing it. God damn, there's a lot of death bloom around here. They'd be just getting high. But yeah, no shit, we're getting more. We're like in like the actual congregation. Area. Ooh, this one's covered in grime. Hmm. I have a shit ton of ammo for that. <sighs> so what I could do is rock this for this thing. Because I'm going to have to come back. I'm pr because I have the projector and the gramophone. So let's just go fucking wild with this goddamn pistol. to come back because I'm lazy so I also oh they're not even lined up right well I can still use them actually you know what yeah, it's easier because they're not lined up right Oh, it doesn't exactly make sense. But I, I guess these are tape players, right? Here. Even though the tapes I picked up are the size of the box and the loading. You know, it do doesn't matter. You use what you can. I'm not going to blame him on his assets. Okay. Oh, I can't wear the pretty hat. Okay. All right. Now it's cool. I would have looked dope, but it's cool if you. Oh, wait. It's quicker to go. Oh. What's the point of having the knife? And then they do the same amount of damage. It wasn't quicker to go this way. Also, I like how the guy <laughs> doesn't have a two stage reaction. Like, he just kept the sneak walk even when I turned around and saw him. Versus, uh,. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? I saw one up there. Hey, doggy, do you need help? Are you like locked on a... This is a good wait for him. I mean, it seems polite. You know what? That's not, that's not right. I, I need the shotgun if I'm going to be clearing these corners. I 
<laughs> okay, gramophone's still downstairs, so I need to get back downstairs. Holy fuck, kid. You just fucking ate 12 gauge. Holy shit, you guys are hard. You know what? I take back. You know, you can take three nine millimeters to the head. Jesus Christ. Strong kid. Strong kid. He's like, um. Do just all the weapons do the same amount of damage? What just happened there? Alright, let's get out of here just in case it's copyright. So they use two different uh, ammunition types. Oh. Okay. Dang, this game's actually pretty wicked fun. Vincent, you did good. Drop it. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. <laughs> Drop it. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy. F okay. So maybe the MP5 was not the right option for me. That thing eats ammo like nobody's business. Albeit, I probably missed a bunch, but still. No, it's okay, just let me in. Come on, guys. Are you telling me there's going to be this many goddamn guns in this game? Alright. Vincent, my man. You went a little hardcore. Um, oh, let me let me see how you. Okay, that's the proper way to do it. I wonder if I, when I'm empty, I'm gonna. I like how you do the slowdown, so I save ammo and I don't overshoot. Also. The, those 22 LRs were uh, rocking the same uh, casing, so they were uh, some pretty zippy doo dah 22 LR. I actually did just say it was 22, it didn't say it was 22 LR. Okay. And this is gonna be easy. Ugly, bro. Ugly.
Stock goddamn 1911 sights. Let's go. Eight shots, so we got the plus one mag. Uh, Vincent, like, what's going on here, man? We're, we're, we're entering a whole new territory this far into the game. A katana? All right, man. Hold on. Okay, nothing down here so far. So where's the firing pin, Vincent? Where's the firing pin? I'm just hitting a backside of metal, uh, the metal of the slide, with this goddamn hammer. Let's go, bitch. I've been hunting you down since I started this game. sure I looked at what I was doing, made sure I could feel the sacrifice I was giving. Okay. So now these two doors should be open. Okay. Hopefully this is the brittle key. Maybe not. miss something unless I saw the brittle key in my uh, inventory when I get back oh that's the end of it but my katana no katana hey Vincent good job on this one this one was pretty fun. I liked it. Um, all right. So that's basically the gist of it um, for Deathbloom. Um, I do have Deathbloom 2, and I'm excited to play it. So that may be my next video release. Um, or I'll do, uh, which I'm going to call it more of It Takes Two with a Dill Pickler. One of the two. Um, cool. Um, if there's any games you guys want me to play besides, uh, the ones I've done or any recommendations towards my taste, which is horror games that are FPS, just let me know. All right. And, um, uh, have a good day.
Bye-bye.